One of my most frequently asked questions when it comes to freeze-dried candy is, does chocolate freeze-dry? We are gonna put a bunch of different chocolate candies to the test today to see if we can come up with an answer to that question. But the short, quick answer is, chocolate itself does not freeze-dry, but chocolate candies that have ingredients inside of them that will freeze-dry do work in the freeze-dryer and are some of my most favorite freeze-dried treats for sure. I am going to show you all of the different candies that we are going to freeze-dry today. I will show you all of the settings that I am going to use on my Harvest Right freeze-dryer. What do you say we get going? Some of the candies in today's video I have freeze-dried before with success. Some I have not tried, but I have had suggestions from some of my viewers in the comments of different chocolatey candies to try. So let me show you what I got. First, we are doing caramel M&Ms. These are ones that I have done before and are amazing. So we had to throw these in there. Mini Charleston Chew. I have done these. These did turn out really good for me. We're throwing these in there. Junior Mints, never done these. I thought I read somewhere that someone freeze-dried Junior Mints. We're gonna give it a try. As a child, these were one of my favorite candies. My grandma would always put me and my two sisters our favorite candy in our Christmas stocking every year at Christmas. And my candy was always Junior Mints. So Junior Mints make me think of my sweet grandma. Last but not least, we got this bag of multitude of different candies. One of my viewers told me that most of these candies in here will work in the freeze dryer. So we're just gonna do a little test of all of these. We've got dark Milky Way, Snickers, Three Musketeers, regular Milky Way, and Twix. These are gonna be fun. If you check out the freeze dryer with me, I will show you the settings that I am going to use. I am gonna hit customize. And I'm gonna do my candy mode at 145 degrees. I'm gonna do this for four hours. These we can zero out because it's not gonna do any of the freezing. And I'm gonna hit start. I'm sorry if the reflection is bad. And then we just wait our 15 minute cool down period. And while we wait, I am gonna get the candy loaded up on my trays. I am also taking my viewers tips and using parchment paper on my freeze dryer trays. I've been having a little bit of struggles with some of my candy lately using my silicone mats. They work great for like my food and all of that, but I'm not having the greatest results on some of my candies when I am using those. So I am trying out parchment paper. This is parchment paper I just bought at the grocery store and cut to size myself. I did see on Amazon though, that you can buy pre-cut sheets of parchment paper for your freeze dryer trays that will fit your medium trays. I don't know if they had other sizes, but I will link those in the video description down below. When you look at the video title, there's a little section that says see more. You click there and that'll expand the video description. You just read and scroll down towards the bottom. That's where I have all the links from the things that I use in my videos. We got everything on our trays. Here are the Milk Duds, Junior Mint, Charleston Chew, Caramel M&Ms, and a variety of the candies. Hopefully I can remember. I got Milky Ways on the bottom, Three Musketeers, Twix, Snickers, Twix. Can't wait to see how these turn out. Our freeze dryer is ready to get loaded up. You know what time it is. Brooks Trivia Corner. I wanted to show you out here how cool the fog looks. So down kind of at the base of that mountain, there's a river. And a lot of times during the mornings or daytime, you get this awesome fog layer right above the river and it just looks so spooky and cool. But do you see that sunshine? Hallelujah. Okay, the question is on chocolate theme, of course, because that's today's video. How long did it take the original inventor of milk chocolate to perfect their recipe? As always, I'll give you the answer at the end of the video. 
And do you know what we decided today? Because we've got some great weather, we're gonna head to the Alaska Zoo. That's something that since living here for over a year now, we have not been to. So today's the day we will take you along and show you some footage at the zoo. And that is where I will give you the answer to today's trivia corner. So now that these are loaded up, I'm just gonna make sure I hit the can candy process button to on. I'm going to close the drain valve, hit continue. I'm going to skip warming the trays. You don't need to do that when you have chocolate because it just makes it extra melty. So I will hit skip and we are good to go. I'm sorry for the background noise, but I wanted to let you know if you are interested in freeze drying your own candy yourself and all the amazing food preservation that your freeze dryer can do, I have an affiliate link with Harvest Right down in the video description below. You can click there, shop for freeze dryers, see all the things that they have to offer. Harvest Right does have a new version of the freeze dryer that I have that on the medium, it gives you five trays instead of just four, which is awesome. And also your older ones, you can convert to a pro version of the freeze dryer and they can ship you the trays that gives you the five shelves, um, obviously for a cost, but I think you have to call them to get that set up. I haven't tried it yet. I hope to soon, but there's that option if you already have a freeze dryer. But if you don't, now is a great time to buy one because of the brand new updated version that they just came out with. It gives you more food real estate in your freeze dryer. Let me show you what these are doing right now. It looks so cool. They're already starting to expand. So cool. I am so close to reaching my 2000 subscriber mark. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet, I'm doing a giveaway once I reach my 2K goal, which should be coming up here super soon. Thank you all for the support. You guys are awesome. I'm so glad you are here watching all about freeze drying and that you guys are getting excited about it just like I am. I love it. It's something that I just am so grateful for. And we also, of course, have to do an epic taste test of all of this chocolate candy. Stick around. Bye. We just got back from the zoo. I'll show you our fun zoo footage later on in the video. Right now, our freeze dryer is ready and it looks like everything freeze dried amazing. I am so stoked with how these turned out. Every single thing. Oh wait, it looks like there's one candy that didn't freeze dry. Let's see if you can spot it. There's our one little dud. That was, I think the three musketeers. So a little recap is this was the milk dud. Junior Mints, Mini Charleston Chew, Caramel M&Ms, and then our candy bars. It is time to get these bagged up and then I will save some aside for us to do a chocolatey delicious taste test. And just like that, I've got my candy set aside for our freeze drying taste test. I bagged other candy and put it in my um, candy stock, but these are what we're gonna use for our taste test and to share with some friends tonight. One tip about freeze dried candies that have chocolate in them, they the chocolate does not stay, does not harden or anything like that. So you can see it's already like sticking to the edges of the bag. I'm gonna store these in the freezer until it's time to eat them so that they don't get all melty and ucky. Or I'm sure the fridge is fine too. Okay, I'm seriously so excited. I think I'm most excited for the milk duds. These look so good. I already love um, freeze dried caramels. I do the like soft Werther's caramel chews. Those turn out amazing. These look kind of similar with a little bit of chocolate around them. I think they're gonna be perfection. Now that that's done, I am going to send you off to the Alaska Zoo, show you some of the cool animals and things that we saw while we were there. I will give you the answer to our trivia question while we are down at the zoo. After the zoo, we're gonna come back. I'm gonna round up the kids and we are going to do a final taste test and see how these taste. Hey, we're at the zoo. Hey, we're at the zoo. Hey, we're at the zoo. We're working for 
you made it to the Alaska Zoo. We'll take you along and see all the fun animals here. to Brooke's trivia corner question. How long did it take the maker of milk chocolate to perfect his recipe is eight years. That's a long time. Definitely a lesson in perseverance. Don't give up on anything you're trying to accomplish because sometimes things just take a really long time, but eventually you will get there. Well, we have visited the whole zoo. We had a great time. The kids are gonna give us their favorite zoo animal. My favorite animal is a snow leopard. Make sure to subscribe to it. My favorite animal was um, it was either the seal or the ox. <laughs> my favorite animal was the goats because they try to pull down my pants and they and they're chewing on my shirt or my jacket. Dinner has been consumed and we are now ready for our chocolatey treat taste test. Yeah, okay, the redheads each have a candy bar. We got a Milky Way, a Twix, and a Snickers. Go. Mm. What do we think of the candy bars? Good? Mm -hmm. Amazing! Yeah. All right, next, caramel M&M. Yeah. Mm. Good. What do we think? That side looks like a flower. Pretty. Good. Good. Next, they are going for the Charleston <laughs> Chew. Mm. It's melting. Does that one mm. melt in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Those are good, huh? <laughs> Next we got. Mickey oh, Mouse. the sun just Quad went House. in my eyes. Next we got Junior Mint. Mouse. Quad House. <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse. That is good. Mm, yeah. I didn't really expect the white minty part to be so like crispy and yummy. That was really good. Last, we got a milk dud. Oh. Mm. Mm. Those really puffed up big. How's that? I gotta try the milk dud. That's heavenly. It like totally melts in your mouth as soon as you take a bite. Similar to if you've had a freeze dried caramel, but this is so good. And it's got like the chocolatey outside. Definitely a winner. Well, me and Bria decided our favorites were the Milk Duds. Lincoln over here said, Junior Mint. The Junior Mint. Let me know which one you think would be your favorite that you would want to try, or if you have tried any of these, let me know your fave. I would love to hear. Hope you enjoyed our zoo footage and our fun chocolate making video. We will catch you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.